since I spoke to you on the weekend, I asked our integrity unit to travel to Townsville. Um, and what I asked them to do was to view the CCTV footage that we spoke about. They've reported back to me and have confirmed, I can say that there was a physical altercation between the player and his partner. In those circumstances, I can confirm, as I outlined to you on the weekend, that one, his contract with the Cowboys has been terminated, and two, his registration with the game is no longer, and I can't see a time at any time in the future that he'll be welcomed back. These decisions affect people's livelihoods. Um, they affect families, children. So they're big moments, um, and you want to make sure you get them right. Um, this is a, a, a enormous outcome um, because this is a guy that now loses his livelihood and his career in the game. And it's a very clear message for a lot of players in our sport that it is a great privilege to play rugby league, um, to put a jersey on, to earn a significant income which they deserve as footballers, but it comes with real responsibility. And if you start to step outside the crease, you are going to put your livelihood at risk. And this is a prime example. Well, again, I haven't seen it, but it was described to me in great detail. Um, and I'm not going to, to describe that to you for all the obvious reasons of a police matter. Um, but it's certainly, as I've outlined on the weekend, that where we see violence, and particularly where we see violence against women, we'll act, and we'll act in the strongest terms. Mm -hmm.